this tutorial, we will show you how to get a really nice crisp finish on a blazer and give it additional structure with interfacing. We start with helpful tips around interfacing and then go step by step on where to interface. There are many different types of interfacing and it isn't always easy to find the right one for your project and fabric type. A good test is to take a sample piece of your fabric and interface half of it so that you can see what happens. The interfaced part mustn't feel too stiff relative to the uninterfaced section. This is especially important for pattern pieces where only certain sections need to be interfaced. The method of attaching the interfacing to the fabric is usually stated on the interfacing itself on the fabric selvage. Vlisseline interfacing number H410 is usually a good choice for jackets and blazers since it has stabilizing threads in the warp. You will also need a heavier weight non-fusible interfacing or horsehair canvas. In the blazer, there are pattern pieces that are fully interfaced. To avoid possible shrinkage from the fusing process, we are first going to block fuse. This means that we interface the entire piece of fabric before cutting out the required pattern pieces. Draw the dart onto your pattern piece and tape it closed. Draw a one centimeter seam allowance at the neckline. Draw a line from the neckline to the single notch on the armhole. Trace off this section, do not add seam allowance. Draw a parallel line 1.5 centimeters from the previous one. Trace off this new smaller section, add seam allowance. These two new pieces you've just traced are now cut on the bias in interfacing. Cut the first larger piece in a heavier weight non-fusible interfacing and place it on the front piece. Cut the second smaller piece in fusible interfacing and place it on top of the first piece. Press it into place and this will also hold the non-fusible interfacing underneath. Chalk the line of the lapel onto the cut pattern piece and then press on stay tape right next to the line. Keep the length of the stay tape 1-2cm to two centimeters shorter than the line and stretch as you press. Now add stay tape to the remaining edges as shown. Take a piece of tracing paper and trace the section of lapel between the stay tapes. Cut out this shape in interfacing on the bias, then press it into place. For the sleeve, we are going to add extra interfacing to the sleeve head. Tape the top and bottom sleeve paper pattern pieces together. Draw the shape of the two interfacing pieces as shown. These start at the single or double notch and end a little past the notch at the top of the sleeve head. Cut out the interfacing on the bias from a heavier weight non-fusible interfacing or horsehair canvas. Attach it to the wrong side of the fabric by stitching in place at presser foot width from the edge. 
types of buttons that are typical choices for blazers. First, we have the flat buttons with two or four holes in the middle. These buttons are sewn on with thread through the holes. Sometimes they can be a bit more rounded on the bottom to allow more space if using heavier fabrics. Then we have the shank buttons. These have a loop on the underside so that all the stitching is hidden. These buttons are also a good choice if you want to work with a heavier fabric, as the shank means that there is a gap between the button and the fabric. If you want to sew a buttonhole with your sewing machine, you will need a buttonhole foot like the one shown. With this specific foot, you can insert your button at the back to determine the length of your buttonhole. The space between these pins will be the length of your finished buttonhole. Don't forget to lower the buttonhole lever down before sewing. If you have trouble getting a perfect buttonhole with a thicker fabric, you can try Avalon. This is a wash away stabilizer you put on your fabric before sewing. Your buttonholes will come out cleaner and afterwards you can just tear and wash the film away. To open up your buttonholes, put two pins at the ends and open with a seam ripper. Thank you.